How you doing guys? I'm just going to talk a little bit about this book that I've recently read. Uh, share my thoughts in the book, my perspectives, uh, potentially even share my insights if I'm profound enough to share insights that is. Um, and overall just give you guys a take of what I think about it. So the book that I've just recently read that I'm going to talk about is called uh, How to Lie with Statistics uh, by Daryl Huff. Now this book was published in the 1950s, uh, 1954 in fact. And I believe since then, um, it's gained widespread popularity, uh, has a quite a vast uh, readership, and it is sort of seen as this um, occult classic in the uh, general science writing for the general public section, if that really is a genre itself, or I'm just making it up <laughs> as I speak. But um, no, it, it is it is a book which is quite popular, and when you when you especially when you search up statistics, it is a book which seems to uh, come up in all the websites and all the sort of review sites and uh, various bookstores and whatnot. It is a book which is which seems to be quite popular. Um, I was recommended it through uh, another book on statistics, a more recent book called uh, Statistics uh, Done Wrong. Um, and it's a book which essentially takes the spirit of Daryl Huff and applies it to uh, the misuse of uh, statistics within the scientific disciplines, and biology, math, psychology, and whatnot. So that is how I came across this book, uh, was through another more uh, recently published book, uh, which is a great book and I highly recommend it as well. <clears throat> Now, um, getting straight into it, uh, the actual review itself or the discussion itself, um, as you can tell, the title, How to Lie with Statistics, um, it's given in a, some sort of a sarcastic, humorous tone, you know, uh, it's a bit comedic. It's, it, when you read it, you may always think that it's a satire of statistics. And it is, it is in some sense a satire of uh, bad statistics. It's not a, sta it's not a satire of, uh, of properly executed statistics, of, of, of authentic statistics. It's, it's, it's poking fun of the manipulation of statistics, okay? Um, and and all the 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 book does uh, have a, a sarcastic um, uh, tone to it, especially in the title. And if you actually read the book itself, you'll also see that the um, the book uh, also has a sort of sarcastic uh, <laughs> flow uh, throughout it, which which can be good. It is it is a playful sarcasm. It's a relaxed sarcasm. It's not something which is sort of overwhelming, and you think, oh, well, this guy's just so obnoxious. You know, uh, when is he ever gonna? Uh, stop you know we, we get it we get the point it's it's nothing along those lines it's something which is um, more so light-hearted playful uh, it helps the reader uh, pay attention to the author it helps the flow of the overall book um, not that the book itself needs this extra sort of juice and this boost it's, it's not dealing with immensely complex ideas uh, the ideas are quite simple but it, what it does is, is it helps you to sort of stay engaged in it in, in, in a way and the book is you know a little bit playful a little bit fun although it is playful and although it does sound sarcastic at some points um, what Daryl Huff is presenting here are quite important concepts very important theories um, very important ideas okay and he's and he's addressing very important issues which have quite clearly uh, been pervading uh, the general uh, public's um, sort of a uh, uh, conception of statistics uh, since since the publication even before the publication of this book um and and, and it, it is an issue which continually lurks and continually i, I believe um haunts us if you may um it, it is something which needs addressing even to this day that's why i think this book is still relevant uh, of course i'm not saying that books themselves of course go out of date because they're thousands of years old of course not you know you have people still reading homer and um and and the likes however uh the problem hasn't necessarily gone away. It hasn't gone better. It hasn't gotten better either. Uh, people's general conception of statistics is still quite poor. Uh, they have a difficulty uh, deciphering and determining what is authentic, what is real, especially in today's sort of um, era of fake journalism, fake news, and the post, the, the so-called post-truth era, um, which is uh, upon us now. Um, uh, the, the manipulation, the misuse of statistics may be worse now than it ever was. I'm not sure though. It could be. However, what is definitely uh, still an issue is the general public's uh, inability to uh, sort of uh, filter what is authentic from what is pure bollocks. And that is what Daryl Huff, I believe, is trying to do in this book. And the way he's trying to do this is, is that he's taking examples of the, of the misuse of statistics generally by corporations, businesses, um, even potentially governments, generally entities and individuals which are trying to make some profits, uh, which are trying to capitalize upon uh, certain sets of data, trying to sell you something, trying to con uh, um, convince you of their certain ideological perspective, trying to, for example, um, push certain ideas upon you, you know. And, and, and Daryl Huff believes that a lot of times 
uh, these entities, these corporations, individuals, businesses, governments, um, they're misusing statistics, they're manipulating statistics. Um, they're doing this intentionally, okay? It's not an accidental manipulation. It's not saying that these people um, are sort of do, are taking a, statistic, a set of data and applying certain statistical analyses upon this data and then sort of accidentally coming to, 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 to a conclusion which then they publish and then they, they, they sell. Of course, this is an extreme sort of more radical case of, of accidental misuse of statistics. Half quite, I think, concretely believes in this book that um, for the most part, statistics are manipulated um, purposefully. They, the people who are doing this, they, they know why they're doing it. Okay, they're trying to sell products. They're trying to uh, uh, make you subscribe to certain narratives. They're trying to. It could be even. It could be something which is very inconsequential. It could be certain magazines or whatnot trying to um, sort of tell you why a certain brand of yogurt is better than another brand. Um, but overall, I think uh, the, the issue is is one of, of deception and manipulation of lies. Uh, and, and that's what I find great about this book is that um, although the, the tone is sort of sarcastic and playful. He switches from being quite serious and, and discerning to then, you know, sort of playful and then pokes fun of himself, pokes fun of statistics as well, pokes fun of scientists as well a little bit. Um, and, and, and that's what I, I liked about this book a lot. It's a very easy read before before I keep going. It's a very easy read. It's only 120, 130 pages. Um, the language in it is very simple. It's the vocabulary reason you don't, you know, you don't need, um, <laughs> you know, a college education in English to sort of. Um, a college degree in English to sort of understand this book and, and grapple with its vocabulary, nothing along those lines. It's simple, it's clear, it's concise. And for this, I think it's uh, applied to the general public. Um, I believe that anybody over the age of 12, 13 years can read this book quite quite um, uh, easily, although they may not understand certain concepts as, as, as well as you would if you were older <clears throat> and more well-read and, and, you know, um, a bit more educated. <laughs> Um, and and the reason I say uh, twelve and thirteen is because I do really believe, although this this may be some some sort of a radical stance, um, I do believe that this book would be great in school curriculum. Uh, individuals, uh, students, people, everybody, um, we have issues dealing with statistics. We 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 sort of uh, equate them with mathematics, the, the the boogeyman of mathematics, this sort of difficulty, this impediment which we can't get across. That this indecipherable language of the statisticians of the math of the, of the mathematicians. However, the the concepts here that Daryl is presenting are very simple. Um, they're not they're not difficult to to get your head around. You know, especially because he takes things such as uh, the manipulation of data, the manipulation of significance p values. He takes um, the manipulation of sort of uh, visual representations of, of statistics, such as graphs. You know what I mean? He takes um, things such as sampling bias, and he introduces them to the general reader. And then he takes uh, examples from the real world, from magazines and companies and corporations and bureaus, and he and he and he takes these uh, real world concrete examples, and he and he shows the reader why. Um, why they're uh, insufficient, why they're lies, and why they're manipulative. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now, yes, uh, I believe uh, you know if if you gave individuals, uh, if you gave students these books and, and early on, they would probably have a better, easier time uh, approaching statistics later on in life. They wouldn't be so scared of of statistics. They wouldn't necessarily avoid them at any cost, which seems to be the case. Even though this book has now been out for almost seventy years. Um, and uh, we, we're still sort of faced with the, with the same problems, um, people's uh, inability to grapple with simple statistical procedures, simple statistical ideas. And because of that, because of them, them sort of be, being uh, in, the, in the dark about it, they're easily taken um, for a ride. They're hoodwinked and they're able to be hoodwinked by corporations, by, corporations, by companies um, who are actually seeking to profit off their sort of ignorance or their miseducation. Um, and it's not a good thing, you know, it's not a good thing if we all uh, hope to approach some sort of level of truth in our lives and um, and, and deal with individuals uh, properly, then I think we should be honest at least and, and at least demand that these companies um, do things properly, you know, um, which may or may not be possible and, and how much statistical uh, um, manipulation goes hand in hand with marketing is, is a good question. Um, I'd say the two are probably synonymous and and uh, a lot of marketing, a lot of sales is backed by uh, sort of poor procedures and, and, and uh, lies and dishonesty. And it's not a good thing. It's really, it's really not a good thing. And um, 
this book, I think, uh, is is a is a great way to start. It's a great place to start if you're seeking to sort of expand your understanding of statistics, introduce yourself to, into statistics, and really just uh, uh, ensure that when you read a stat in the media, when you see a figure, when you see a graph, you kind of have a, have a general understanding of what you're looking at. Uh, you're not you're not you're not um, sort of seeing this um, uh, kind of hieroglyphic uh, language and uh, I'm just going to turn away from it and then sort of turning the other cheek and not and not and not and not holding these these companies accountable for their for their misuse you know so it starts with education of ourselves and this is a great way this and this book is a great place um to start <clears throat> easy for everybody general readership um being out for a long time quite cheap it's not it's easy to get sold everywhere still it's still a mass paperback production um so uh i think that's uh most of what i have to say about this book um it's uh it's it's it was it was it was a easy easy thing to read it was a fun thing to read for me and um highly recommend it to everybody else and um i hope you uh, approach it yourself and and um if you have any thoughts on the book or how if you disagree with me and if you or if you agree with me or if you have anything to say you know post it in the comments or whatnot or let's just email me or something and we'll talk about it um but i yeah, hope everyone has a great day and um uh, keep reading and uh, enjoy life okay Goodbye.